Hi Aries, it's Elle here to do your April 2018 general reading. Uh, whatever comes up is what comes out. We'll do some messages for how for love, um, career and finance, and what you should be focused on. All right. I hope that you're having a really good March. March is winding down be April soon um, and happy birthday to those who um, have had birthdays it has a started yet is, are we in Aries I don't know I gotta look and see I, I don't even know what what date it is but anyway happy birthday in advance and for those who whose birthdays have passed all right so let's go with the death card, transformation, endings, and new beginnings. New insight, you know, new perspective on a situation. Page of Pentacles, nice, because stability, or at least the message of stability is here. You could be dealing with a Scorpio, Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus, Sun, Moon, or Rising. Message of stability is here. Four of Pentacles is the reason why all the energy is the way it is. Someone is holding on. Eight of Pentacles in the present. Either willing to work on something or you just thrown yourself into work. Looks like you might be just focused on work. Work focused on material gain you're trying to maintain status where you are in your life oh wow then in the recent past the seven of pentacles nice you you planted seeds somewhere and now you're doing the work here in the present holding on to your money to your status holding on to your feelings Regarding this situation, all right, those, that's too many. If they want to come back out, they will. It looks like Aries is really focused on money. You planted seeds somewhere. You're, you're watching it grow. Um, some of you could have started new businesses. Near future is the high priestess. Yeah, the four of pentacles. Whatever you're doing, be quiet about it. Hold your hold your cards to your chest. Everyone doesn't need to know what's going on with you. Not not right now. Because there's transformation here with you. Because you're trying to create something very solid or something very solid is coming in for you. I think the work you've done in the past and the work you're doing now in the present, this is um this is your page of pentacles. This is your baby. This is your your money maker in its infancy. Some of you could be starting business, um, walking away from maybe nine to fives and doing your own thing. Wow. Okay. Nice. And then your power is the chariot. Could be dealing with a cancer. If not, you're just moving forward. You, you're in control of this thing. Like, whatever you're trying to manifest, you're in control of it. You're going to have victory here. It's all about you and what you're doing. The chariot only carries one. It's not a stagecoach. It's about forward movement and a healthy level of selfishness. Nice. External to you is the hermit. Could be a Virgo. Or someone just gaining enlightenment in regards to maybe a situation you guys were both in. Could be a party of people. It could be one person. Um, someone's taking a break. Someone's went to gain mental and spiritual clarity. All right. Hopes and fears. I'll take them. The Tower, the Queen of Wands. Wow, you are really 
that's just self-explanatory. Of course, the tower is unexpected event, you know, a fallout situation breaking down. Of course, you don't want that. The Queen of Wands is here. This could be you, Aries, um, or another fire sign, Aries, Sagittarius, Leo. This is a hope and fear. Of course, it's a fear. You don't, you fear, you fear this not working out. You fear your plans not working out. What you've invested in the past, not panning out to, to the Ace of Pentacles, not panning out to uh, all the work that you put into it. You fear, you fear that maybe you started something on faulty ground and it, it will fall. Wow, and then the outcome is the Ten of Swords. Now, this could be the betrayal, being backstabbed, being blindsided, disappointed, great disappointed, great disappointment in the sense of um, I think it's external to you. Seven of Swords. Wow. Um, justice. Okay. The world. Whatever this is in the outcome. Uh, I'm trying to put it in the camera so you guys can see it. All right. There we go. Uh, the Ten of Swords. The Seven of Swords. Justice. The world. Whatever happened here, or or is it will happen, it brings about a closure. It brings about balance. Like it had to happen. It's almost as if you're letting something happen. Wow! Then the sun comes out. The world. And then the sun. Yeah. The three majors on top of each other. You found out about something or someone not being upright, honest, upfront. Ten of swords, seven of swords. They, This betrayal, this deception, this backstabbing, this great disappointment was done behind your back, was them sneaking, them trying to get away with something, but the universe has your back. So justice prevailed for you. The scales are balanced here. They could have been doing this for a long time, I'm hearing. There will be a close to this to this chapter, to this cycle, the world. The sun is here saying that positivity reigns here. And then at the bottom of the deck is strength. You could be dealing with a Leo it, or an air sign, a very deceptive air sign. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Um... Yeah, guys. Uh, it looks like work and money is stable. You know, you're growing something. But it looks like someone, there's jealousy, there's envy, there's strife. There's someone betraying you. Uh, it could be an air sign. If not an air sign, they're taking on the lower vibration of an air sign five of cups some of you don't want to deal with the fact that um some of you are dealing with grief you know you could be grieving the loss of you fill in the blank of a family member or a job um a romantic relationship friendship and you're just throwing yourself into work because that was the idea anyhow with the Page of Pentacles. That was the idea that you just work on things because there were some things you were trying to accomplish. Knight of Swords here. Um, Knight of Swords. Knight of Wands. Ooh, the 
fastest, the two fastest knights. We've got nine of pentacles. Five of pentacles. And then at the bottom of the deck, five of swords. Yeah, some of you dealing with an air sign. If not an air sign, some of you are dealing with an air sign or somebody with air in their chart. Or you could have air in your chart or vice versa. Uh, Knight of swords, knight of wands, nine of pentacles, five of pentacles. Someone's feeling left out. Someone is left out. The, the Nine of Pentacles is looking straight on, and the, the, knight, the two knights are, you know, they're moving away from the Nine of Pentacles person. This could be you, Aries, or someone else. Or you're not taking to any offers because you're focused on your money, you're focused on stability, you're focused on healing, you're focused on restoration of yourself, being better for yourself, engaging in the simple luxuries of life. And you're leaving somebody out. You're and or you could be focused more on the material because either there was lack or there is there's a feeling of lack. They could, you know, in the past, it could have been up and down financial. So you've got two knights here. One of the fire suit. One of the air. And it's almost as if they're just passing you by and you're okay with it. That could be one way to interpret that for some of my areas. It's more so like you guys are focused on material stability not even in a sense of you know you being materially driven or uh, uh, you know you're just materialistic but it's like you just want to create a level of stability for yourself before you can even focus on money I mean before you get to focus on love you're focused on being stable for yourself all right. All right. What are the messages for Aries in career and finance? Some of you definitely dealing with a Capricorn Virgo Taurus. We have a lot of pentacles in the last reading. Oh my gosh. Y'all cards is just talking. Okay. Aries be career and finance. Career and finance for Aries. Knight of Swords. Air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Queen of Wands. Three of Pentacles. The Star. Six of Cups. Six of Swords. Okay, so... This could be a third party situation or someone someone trying to heal from the past also. A past lover, past situation, six of swords, yeah, the, the lovers and the hangman. Like I said, this and then the devil. And then the four of wands. This definitely can be uh, a third party situation. Uh this is more love than the other spread. The other spread was more so career and finance. Now here comes your love reading. So maybe we'll, we'll just reverse them because this looks like more love or, or romance. Um, yeah, this definitely could be third party. You're in limbo about what you should do, or who you should choose, or vice versa. Maybe you're dealing with someone who needs to make a choice. Do they want the past or do they want what's right here in front of them? So 
Some of you feel like you're in a karmic situation. If not karmic, it's toxic now. You need to make a choice. Are you leaving or are you staying? This is you. Are you staying or are you leaving? The choice is, is yours. You're, you're rushing to give someone a piece of your mind, a bit of truth. You could be dealing with a air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Here's you. Here's the Three of Pentacles. And when the Three of Pentacles comes out in a love reading, and it's clearly third-party situation, somebody is really trying to establish something elsewhere. Now, this isn't just the Three of Cups, like you got three people. Then you got, then you got the Devil, the Three of Pentacles. Someone, this is a, an affair. You know, someone has been in, in engaged. Someone has been engaged in a love affair. You got the Queen of Swords on the deck. In the bottom of the deck. Some of you could be dealing with an Aquarius, if not a Capricorn. We got Queen of Pentacles, Capricorn, Queen of Swords, the Star, an Aquarius, or a Gemini here with the Lovers. Either want to you want to move away from confrontation with a partner. Looks like the past is karmic, but it's coming back around. It is Mercury retrograde. It's like someone comes back around, Aries, and... You know, you're having nostalgic thoughts of them. It was good. You know, there was a there is love there. Maybe this was a soulmate. They want to build something with you, but they're not, they need to make a choice... It's almost as if they want to build a life with you, but they also want to keep the one that they already have established. Which makes it toxic. And they have to make a choice. Do they want you or someone else? All right, let's see what you should be focused on coming up. What are the future messages for Aries? What should Aries be focused on looking forward in April 2018? Messages for Aries. Future messages for Aries. 28 April 2018. Ugh. Messages for Aries. April 2018. Thank you, thank you, thank you for the future message. What should Aries be focused on? Right. Ten of Wands, laying down the burden. It's too heavy to carry. Five of Cups, yeah, lay down the burden and just, you know, grieve the loss here. Right. These flew out the Six of Swords and the Page of Swords. Moving forward, moving away from turbulent times, drama, chaos. Not without a very cutting message, either from you or from someone else to you. Three of Pentacles again. The Lovers, Eight of Pentacles. Knight of Pentacles, Six of Cups, Empress, Hermit, Magician. King of Cups. Some of you could be dealing with the Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Um, your focus needs to be on the fact that lay this burden down that is a third party situation. All of that's third party. Ten of Wands, Five of Cups, Three of Pentacles, The Lovers. You're not the only person here. You need to move away from this and continue to focus on yourself and your work and, and your craft building yourself up six of swords page of swords and then the eight of pentacles move away from drama don't do not be disturbed and brought back into drama cut it away say say your piece and be done with it focus on you because it looks like there's some a solid offer coming in knight of pentacles six of cups maybe from your past if not from your past you might have children with this person is what I'm seeing. The Empress, yeah. Uh, 
the hermit and the magician you're trying to create something and we saw that in the first spread you have to go within and understand that the messages of what you should do and how you should operate and how you should move will come from spirit once you get closer to spirit and yourself and knowing what you really want then you can make decisions and you can create even better you can manifest even more uh the magician is here right the empress the the hermit and the magician you know why did i just hear like an old saying steal away <laughs> that means go away like go away from people for right now you know walk away so that you can gain emotional mental and spiritual clarity right because the king of cups and the seven of cups that's it's illusions and keeping you confused emotionally confused um, someone stirring the pot stirring in your emotions up only to not offer much Right, so Aries, focus on yourself, focus on work, focus on building yourself up. Love will come, but focus, all right? So if those messages resonated with you, please feel free to book a personal reading by emailing me. My email address is below. Follow me on InstaGo, where you can ask a question or two, and I can get back to you with a few cards pulled for you. Follow me on Instagram. My handles are below. Uh, choose to fund the page by clicking the GoFundMe link. Sometimes when people click the GoFundMe link, like if you, you know, you send five or more dollars, you know, I'll tell you to send me a question and I'll ask, answer a question for you or something like that. I don't know, you know, however the wind blows over here. Um, what else? What else does it say? Aries, when in doubt, pray. I'm praying for you guys. Pray for me as well. I will see you in mid-April, okay? Take care, guys.